Plugins are one of the biggest selling points WordPress offers, and there's nothing inherently bad about using a lot of them on your website. However, in some cases, using the wrong extension can impact your website negatively. In theory, the more plugins you add, the greater the chance becomes that some of them might not play nicely with each other, causing a compatibility error. Beyond compatibility issues, there are also performance-related concerns. Here are three ways WordPress plugins can impact website performance and security. Number one, additional HTTP requests. If a plugin adds a new script to your website, that means a larger number of HTTP requests. Modern websites often require your browser to submit dozens of requests due to the variety of elements and scripts they need to load. Here's a quick example from our own homepage, which includes over 60 HTTP requests. In practice, you can have a website that requires a large number of HTTP requests as long as all of those elements and scripts are well optimized. You'll see that our page took 0.7 seconds to load, which is very fast. The takeaway is this. The fact that plugins can increase the number of HTTP requests on your website isn't necessarily a bad thing. As long as the plugin is well coded and you use a web host that can handle those additional requests without slowing down, you should be fine. Number two, increase database requests. Every WordPress website has a unique database that stores all of its data. When you install a new plugin on your website, it will connect to that database. It will also use the database to store configuration details and even use your data, depending on what the plugin does. WordPress constantly accesses that database to pull the data it needs to show you and your visitors. Too many database queries can slow down your website. There's a lot of talk about optimizing or pruning your WordPress database of entries you no longer need. However, in our experience, the improvements you see from that type of optimization are often minimal. If you're experiencing poor performance due to too many database requests, the best thing you could do is look for a better hosting plan. And finally, number three, security vulnerabilities. Perhaps the most compelling reason is that it opens you up to additional security vulnerabilities. Poorly coded or maintained plugins can be exploited by attackers to try and access your site. That's a valid concern, since almost every day there's news about WordPress plugin vulnerabilities. However, we could say the same thing about any of the programs that you install on your computer. They might open you up to vulnerabilities, but that's usually only the case if you fail to secure your computer and keep that software up to date. WordPress kind of works the same way. There are a lot of proactive measures you can take to protect your website. So the short answer to the question, how many plugins are too many, is in our opinion, that there's no such thing as too many plugins. Most websites with decent hosting should be able to handle dozens of active plugins without breaking a sweat. The real problem lies in using outdated tools that don't follow the best practices. Beyond that, you shouldn't keep plugins active if you're not using them, because it's a waste of resources and opens you up to unnecessary compatibility errors. As long as each plugin on your site serves a purpose, is updated often, and is well-reviewed, you shouldn't have to worry. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.